red light cameras catching Tucson drivers crossing the intersection just a bit late. A day after the city renewed the contract with the camera operator, we're hearing concerns from Tucsonans who say the cameras should be shut down. Here's Fox 11's Marcelino Benito. You get it and you say, oh my God, I'm, I'm in trouble. I got to go to court. George Thurman had that reaction twice. Two tickets, both for running a red light, both caught on camera. You're getting tickets uh, illegally. He says the city's red light cameras are unfair, and he's put together this report to prove it. He says the cameras are using two different stopping lines. That right there would violate state law that calls for uniformity of enforcement systems. It's all about the money. Thurman's two infractions cost him over $500. People are trying to, uh, struggling in this economy. They go to the grocery store and they come back with a $300 tab. It's these sorts of concerns Councilman Steve Kazachik is hearing from his constituents. The majority of the tickets that people are getting are when they're rolling through on a left turn arrow and they don't quite make it through the geometry of the intersection before they get flashed with the, with the camera. The problem is people aren't convinced that it's a fair system. But with just three days left on the contract with American Traffic Solutions, city officials renewed it without hearing from the public. It was just a strategic error on the city's part to go ahead and renew that contract without giving the public an opportunity to step up to the plate and hold a public hearing on it and voice their concerns and opinions about it. The contract stands for another year, untouched and unchanged, and Thurman isn't happy. I can't say on camera. <laughs> Oh, crappy. Tucson police and city management stand by the camera system and say it's made intersections safer. Some people that haven't even gotten tickets, they won't go through the intersections because uh, they don't want to get a ticket. But Thurman believes that just shows people are scared of a faulty system. Marcelino Benito, Fox 11 News.